Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's fall, so you know what that means? We gotta break out the Winchester 92. Now this was released in 1892 and ran all the way to 1945. In fact, it ran so long that they changed the name of it from a 1892 to just a 92. Now this particular rifle was chambered in 2520. They were also offered in 3220, 3840, 4440, which was the most popular, and then later 218B. Now the 2520 is kind of an interesting round, and uh, it was pretty popular around the farms. Uh, it's small enough to take varmints, but you could also take a deer with it. Now if you want to see some interesting load data, go over to Marlin uh, gun owners. Their forum, there's a guy, 35 Remington, who has shared just a massive amount of load data on the 2520. I mean, you can push a 60 grain bullet at 2,300 feet per second, which is pretty incredible. Now, these Remington core locks, uh, velocity at muzzle is uh, 1,460 feet. At 100 yards, uh, you're looking at 1194. Uh, 200 yards, you got 23 and a half inches of drop. We're going to take a few shots with this rifle today. Uh, it's a 24 inch barrel. You've got semi buckhorn rear sight. Uh, of course, it does have the dual locking lugs, which makes it an incredibly strong action. Of all the lever actions I've owned, you know, 94s. 336, um, Savage 99, uh, the 92 is my favorite, far and away. They do make these still today. Uh, they offer them in 35, uh, 357, 44 rim mag, 44, 45 Colt, and 4440. Let's load up some rounds, put this on paper. It does have the side loading gate. Yeah, 2520 has gotten a little expensive. Last couple boxes I bought, these Remington core locks, I think they were about 80 bucks. So you definitely want to save your brass. And this is a good candidate for loading. That big old long feed tube, you can fit a lot of rounds in there. I didn't count, but yeah. Let's take a few shots here. Now the only safety on here is this half cock. I've got a couple targets down there. And we'll see if we can hit them. This is a nice, soft, recoiling rifle. I think that's part of the reason it was popular on farms. The kids and wife can pick it up and shoot it just as well. Ammo is hard to get, though. Let's uh, see if we can turn some steel down there. Miss. What do you guys think about these 92s? 
I'd sure like to have one in 357. I think that'd be just about the perfect lever action, especially around here. You know, we've got this really dense woods. All right, I'm gonna go back to the paper. See if I can get one on the button. Where'd that hit? A little bit right, I think. That's it, we're empty. Yeah, guys, that's the Winchester 92, uh, or 1892, as, as this one is labeled. Uh, just a wonderful old rifle. Uh, we're gonna put this on the bench pretty soon and uh take it apart and just just do a little bit of maintenance on it um it's got years and years of grime on it we're not going to refinish it we'll just clean it up a little bit and you know make sure there's not some rust built up under the barrel there and yeah maybe see if we can clean up some of the spot rust that's on this barrel this gun's been around a long time Guys, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. As always, have a great day. God bless.